for rural properties, fences are generally considered to be the boundaries. However, by law, that might not always be the case. Discrepancy between an existing fence and the legal boundary can create issues among adjacent landowners. Roger McOwen with the Washburn School of Law joins us now with some guidance in today's Rural Money segment. Appreciate you being with us, Roger. So what are some of the basic principles when it comes to old fences and boundaries? Well, good to be with you, Tammy. That's a great question. We get this all the time uh, because it comes up so often. An existing fence uh, in agriculture many times has been there for decades. I, I've had instances where people have contacted me with fence questions where that dilapidated fence has been there over a century. Well, that existing fence is typically considered to be evidence of where that imaginary line exists between two properties. And it really matters little whether that fence is permanent or not. So how does one go about determining the actual property boundary? Well, there's several ways to do that. In the eastern third of the country, basically east of the Mississippi River, land descriptions are likely to be by what we call meets and bounds. So you're describing the land by a series of directions that trace the perimeter of the land, and that tracing might follow an old fence. So you want to check your your land records to see if that's the case. Or in some rural areas, it might be by general location, such as uh, the farm over on a particular highway three miles from such and such. And we see that all the time, too. Or it could be by survey. You may actually have a survey that sets the line. So now, can the passage of time ever cause the fence to be substituted for the property description boundary? Yeah, and this is the really big question, and the answer is yes, it can. Uh, now, it won't just simply by itself, just the passage of time, it won't cause the fence to be substituted for the property boundary description. So the, the fact that the fence has been there for a very long time doesn't matter much by itself. But the key is the fact that the fence is there, we may have patterns of usage of the land on each side of the fence that may cause the fence to become fixed as the boundary and then have the legal effect of changing the boundary set out in the deed. And that's a key point. Often I find that realtors often fail to understand that point. Definitely. I can see that. Any suggestions on how adjacent owners may actual, actually settle this dispute? Well, the way that uh, it often got settled, say, back in the 1700s and 1800s, and that is uh, pacing uh, and turning around and shooting each other is probably not the best way to solve these fence disputes. But uh, there is a procedure in every state, and that may be to call your fence viewers, and that might be the county commissioners or the township trustees, whatever the case might be. But that'd be your first line. If you can't agree with your neighbor, Determine who the fence viewer is out, have them come and make a view, and determine building and maintenance responsibilities for an existing fence. Now, they can't set the line, but if there is an existing fence and you're comfortable with where that is at, call the fence viewers, have them tell you how to build and maintain it. If you want to get beyond that, then you may end up in court with the court determining where that boundary is actually at. Interesting. That's Roger McOwen with the Washburn School of Law. Appreciate your information today.